This is the bass we're making. It's a variation on a Reese bass, which is a fat, evolving sound that many people know and love. But this one has a bit more of a farty, burpy character, and that's what I love about it. Start with two saw waves and mix them. I'm using the Pony VCO by Bufaco, which is one of my favorites, but use any VCO you want. It'll work with all of them. I'll switch it to the sawtooth wave with this little slider here. And I'm going to drop the octave into the bass range so that we hear a bassy tone. Then I'll press Ctrl D while hovering over it to duplicate it. Snag the outputs and throw them into a mixer. Pass the mixed waveforms through a low pass filter. Sawtooth waves have a shitload of harmonics, and the high ones can be really harsh. I'm going to set the cutoff low enough to remove that harshness, somewhere between 500 and 800 hertz. If we drop it down to like 200 hertz, that's where we get the more classic re-space sound. I personally like the burp of the harmonics, so whatever you're feeling you know, don't be shy. Just mess with it and get that sound that you like. Let's also increase the resonance while we're here so we get a nasally, growly timbre. We're going to detune one of these oscillators, somewhere between 5 and 15 cents. Sharp or flat doesn't matter. This will make the oscillators beat, which sounds like this. Less detuning means slower beating, because the beat frequency is equal to the absolute difference of the main frequencies. In this case, we have one at 65.41 Hz, and one at 65.08 Hz. That makes a difference of 0.33 Hz, and therefore one period of the beating takes just about 3 seconds, and that's right on the money for some sweet smooth evolving. I'm going to add a sine wave sub for some super bass, and mix it in with the sawtooth waves to taste. Right around the same volume or just a little bit lower is usually a sweet spot. Connect it to a VCA and set up an envelope generator like this. The Pony VCO has a built-in VCA, which is dope, but I'm going to set it up using another one just for clarity. I like to connect my QWERTY keyboard to experiment with tone. That's how I trigger my instruments while I'm creating them. It makes it easier to trigger on demand, and you can do that with the MIDI to CV module. Experiment with different ADSR times. I like a medium attack and a longish release, but you can get more punch if you have short ones. Add some reverb for some body. I have mine oxed in. And that's the finished bass. Super easy and so fat. This same setup can make many different bass sounds, like these. Just turn those knobs and experiment, but most of all, have a good time. That's what it's all about anyways. Link to this patch in the description. It's free. Shout out to ISN47, who's the newest Kofi supporter added to the list. You rock, dude, and I'm glad that you like the content so far. Tune in next time for a video on The Resonator by Audible Instruments. Okay, that's all. Bye.